I've been using Asana for years to organize my business and trust me, adding collaborators is a simple yet powerful way to improve teamwork and accountability. Today, we're talking all about adding collaborators to tasks in Asana. So if you've ever felt overwhelmed trying to keep everyone informed or struggled with communication gaps in your projects, then this video is for you. I'll show you why this feature is so important, how to use it, and some tips to get the most out of it. Hi, I'm Samantha, here to help you organize and streamline your business operations so that you can save time and mental energy and focus on what you love to do. All right, let's dive in. So what is a collaborator in Asana? This is a question I hear all the time, even from people who have been using Asana for months. Sometimes people get a little overexcited and start adding everyone as a collaborator on all the tasks, or at least way too many. While the intention is good, this can quickly lead to notification overload. And when that happens, people start ignoring their task notifications altogether because they can't sort through all the noise to find the important updates. And then on the other hand, I also see clients not using this feature at all, which causes them to miss out on some of the benefits of streamlined communication within Asana. So here's the short version to help you understand. You want to add collaborators when you want them to get notified in their Asana inbox about that specific task. So it's not about the entire project, just that individual task. So here's another important thing to know, adding someone as a collaborator doesn't necessarily affect their access to the task. If they already have access to the project, they can still see the task, check updates, and even find it through the search bar. So collaborators are just about notifications. So when should you add a collaborator? So you want to use it when you want someone to be notified about things like a comment being added, an attachment being uploaded, the task being moved to a new section, the task being marked as complete, or the due date changing. Think about your own Asana inbox for a second. Are you getting more notifications than you actually need? Are you getting updates on tasks that aren't relevant anymore or just don't require your attention? If so, it's time to remove yourself as a collaborator from those tasks and let this guide you how you decide who to add as collaborators in the future. So why add collaborators to tasks? Before we jump into the how, let's ask about the why. <laughs> why should you add collaborators to tasks in the first place? Isn't assigning tasks enough? Well, for example, if you're working on a team project and each person has their specific tasks, you assign the task of designing a new website banner to your graphic designer, but your content writer and marketing manager also need to provide input. So if they're not included in the task, they might miss updates, feedback, or deadlines, and your project timeline gets delayed. So this is where collaborators come in. Collaborators are anyone who needs to stay informed about the task, but isn't directly responsible for completing it. So they'll receive updates, be notified about comments, and have access to all the details they need without having to chase people for information. So next time you're launching a product, don't skip adding collaborators to your tasks. If you just assign tasks to team members but don't add collaborators, your marketing team could miss a key update, which could delay the email campaign by a week for example. <laughs> so once you introduce the habit of adding collaborators, everything will run like clockwork. No more missed updates or frantic last minute fixes. All right, now that you know the why, let's get into the how. So adding collaborators is straightforward and takes just a few clicks. So let's hop into Asana and take a look. All right, so for example, let's say you wanted to add collaborators to this task. So you find the task that you want to work on and obviously open it <laughs> and then you locate the collaborators section which is right down here and then on the right you'll see um, my images here because this is my task and I created it which automatically adds me as the collaborator but to add new people to the collaborators you can click this next one here or this plus over here if these are all filled up um, or if they're not you can also click the plus uh, but you'll click here and then you can start typing to add someone. So if I want to add my video editor, then I'm going to type that in there and then click out and you'll see she is added as a collaborator to the task. And then by seeing her image there, you are confirming that they will be notified about the task. 
You can also add collaborators when creating a new task so you don't forget to include them later. And remember I mentioned that if you are receiving too many no notifications about a task that you no longer need to be kept in the loop on, you can remove yourself as a collaborator at any time really easily also. All you have to do is go into the task again and click the little X, so back to the collaborators section, and hover over and you'll see this little X appear here. If you click this little X, then it removes me as the collaborator. I can also remove her as the collaborator by clicking the X there as well. So I'd love to know whether you are already using this feature. So comment yes or no below to let me know. Now that you know how to add collaborators, let's talk about best practices to make the most of this feature. So first, be selective. Don't add everyone as a collaborator to every task. Only include those who truly need to stay in the loop to avoid overwhelming your team with notifications. Number two is use comments effectively. Encourage collaborators to communicate directly in the task comments. This keeps all updates and discussions in one place and reduces the need for separate emails or meetings. Number three is set expectations. Let collaborators know why they've been added. For example, you can add your clients as collaborators to keep them updated on progress without overwhelming them with unnecessary details. But make sure they know what to expect and that they need to look for notifications in their inbox and answer any questions in the task comments. It makes the client feel involved while maintaining a clear workflow for the team. If you are ready to organize your business and take your Asana game to the next level, I've got something for you. Check out my Asana Essentials Toolkit to completely systemize your business in Asana with my tried and true templates. They will help you streamline your workflows, reduce stress, and focus on what truly matters in your business. You can go to samanthacasbrick.com slash AE to learn more and sign up. Okay, here is a bonus tip. Collaborators can be a lifesaver for a remote team, especially when working across time zones. For example, let's say your team is spread across North America, Europe, and Asia. By adding collaborators, Team members can see updates and progress asynchronously without waiting for a team meeting or a live check-in. So imagine a task for creating a sales pitch deck. The graphic designer in Europe completes their part during their workday, marks it as done, and leaves a comment for the copywriter in North America. When the copywriter starts their day, they already have all the information they need to continue without delay. This simple system creates a smooth workflow saves time, and ensures accountability. Let's wrap up with some common mistakes to avoid when using collaborators in Asana. So the first one is adding too many collaborators. You want to avoid adding people who don't need to be involved. Too many collaborators can lead to confusion and notification overload. Number two is ignoring notifications. Make sure your team knows how to manage their Asana notifications. Missing updates defeats the purpose of having collaborators. And number three is not following up. Remember, adding someone as a collaborator doesn't mean they'll automatically take action. Use comments to nudge or provide clarity when needed. And there you have it, everything you need to know about adding collaborators to tasks in Asana and why it's so beneficial for managing your projects and improving communication. If you want to see more ways to work in Asana as a team, you can watch this video next. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you did find this video helpful and I will see you next week. Bye.